Welcome to a time in the shade in Shady Oak Ministries, and now what's making news. Arnold Schwarzenegger continues to contribute to the field of theology by concluding that there is no heaven. He does, however, believe in a hell. And by hell, he means places where things like the freedom of assembly still exist. And that's bad. Christian and conservative speakers have come to the defense of Andrew Tate, claiming that him admitting on camera to the lover boy method of human trafficking and prostitution. Your goal is to inspire a girl to make money and give you the money. Bragging about the psychological and financial manipulation of young women in text. So the way you're going to do that is you have to have some element of influence and you're going to have that element of influence through her respecting you, looking up to you, and her believing she needs you. And the testimonies released to the public within the last year of the women he threatened to tell your girl that you're paying the tax. Because girls are lazy, and girls are stupid, and girls don't understand how taxes work. So the girl's working with you, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, we've made this much money, but I'm going to pay the tax to make sure we don't get in trouble. It allows you to pay her a smaller percentage. So I used to pay my girls 30%. So for every $10,000 they made, I'd give them three, and I'd keep seven. They thought they were on 50%, and I said that the disparity is because of taxes. Are all taken out of context and misrepresenting him. What is the context that would justify all of these blanket statements of, quote, self-snitching? The staff and actors of the Chosen series have clarified their opposition to anybody who disagrees with the promotion of hedonistic lifestyles. First on their list of people who are no fans of theirs, Jesus. <coughs> Andrew Hodson has recently updated his study, The Legacy of Antisemitism from Sacred Text to Solemn History, with the discovery that hatred of Jewish people is four times higher than any other religious, political, ethnic, or social background compared to Muslims. You can read the summary of the evidence in Norm MacDonald's journal titled, Duh. Yep, 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 uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The Watchtower Bible and Tract Society has announced yet another revision to their New World Translation. Ephesians 2.9 will now read, quote, For it is by work you are saved, through sales and continued church membership. It is not a pyramid scheme. It is the Word of God. We promise. Stop reading this on your own and get back to work. Please, we are depressed enough. Representatives of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints clarify that they are Christians too. Like all believers in Jesus of Nazareth, they affirm that there is one and only one God, that salvation from eternal separation from God is by grace through faith apart from any work that we can do. They affirm the doctrine of the Trinity and that the Old and New Testament are the inspired, preserved, authoritative Word of God and the sole source and ultimate source of sound doctrine among their church. The only thing that makes the Mormon church unique from any other denomination is that they have no problem lying to others about what they believe. Holy Jamoli. Hamas recently launched missiles into civilian targets in Jerusalem. The motivation for this terrorist attack has been speculated to have something to do with the Jewish holiday of mourning, Tishba'av. However, it turns out they were just reading the Quran. Not that there's anything wrong with that. A contradiction has been discovered in the Bible. In Ephesians 4 and verse 14, Paul the Apostle told the church of Ephesus not to be childish in the sense of buying into everything that a false teacher would tell them. Whereas in Luke 18, 17, Jesus told his disciples that the kingdom of God must be received like a child. Now, apart from the obvious fact that 
what a child trusts and that a child trusts are both in mind here. I have another contradiction for you. Don't be a child and trust what random people on the internet tell you without reading it for yourself. And please be a child by trusting someone who actually wants to tell you the truth. Very smart. And that will be all. Thank you all for joining us. Good night and God bless.